Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Skyrim, special with a flu edition. Okay, so last time we found out that the Thelmore are messing with our new Dwarven buddies' plans because that's what the Thelmore do, they're dicks. And we have a disguise and some forged papers, so now we're in a place called Wehom Pass, which we teleported to with an upgate that we powered up by removing butter from the lower sections. Yes, this makes no sense to me either. And now we're going to sneak on in and infiltrate them somehow, find out what the hell they're doing. Something like that. And yes, once again, we lost over Brandon Zago. Screw it, we're just gonna go in solo. I'm sure they'll be there when we get back. So, there should be a guard right here. Hey, buddy. You're a long way from civilization, comrade. But I'm afraid you'll have to keep moving. Access to this compound is restricted, even for fellows. Ignore the fact that I'm an orc. I have orders from Emissary Elamwyn. Ah, the new transfer I take. You must have certainly made the lady angry if she's sending you all the way out here. Unless you request it. But come in, come in. It's not much warmer inside, but at least you're out of this damned snow, no? Snow and thunder, apparently. Find some sort of plans indicating what the Thelmore intend at Whitehorn Pass, okay? So, where the hell's the entrance? Oh, probably this tiny little door here. Why have giant elf people got a tiny door like that? It looks like the entrance to, uh, Bilbo's house. Okay, and seems to be nothing around here, and I'm going in before you. Screw you, buddy. And yes, as you can tell, I'm still kind of sick, but I think I sound a little bit better than last time, at least I freaking hope I do. Come, come, just a car Urcheron has been working, but I'm sure he'll want to see you. Mind the experiments. That is a shit ton of blood. What's with all these things? Justicar Archeron is a very skilled enchanter, a former Sijic, you know, before he switched to the correct side. The dark side? Illusion and alteration are passions of his, so mind the estate. They're littered with the result, the gods included. I see. I myself have had a few modifications. After all, we're all part of the punishment platoon out here. Creepy. Punishment? Oh, don't act so surprised. You didn't think Ellen was going to reward you, did you? Deserters, second guesses, we're all guilty here at Whitehall. Don't worry. A few lobotomies and you'll be as complacent as I am. Come, come. You know what? Thanks for the offer, but I'd rather not have the lobotomies if that's okay. And... Okay, so there's a bunch of random junk around here. We may as well steal stuff. I don't want this, though. You can get out of my sights. The hell is that? Oh, there's like a weird force field around it. Okay. That's really creepy. There's a ton of shock daggers, apparently, which we don't want. And there's a bear. There's a bear in a force field and blood everywhere. This is weird. This is very weird. They mention experiments, so... Yeah, I don't know what up with the bear life force. I guess we'll take the bear life force, why the hell not? Could come in handy, you never know when you're gonna need some bear life force. And there's, there's dead dudes in the plant pots. That's lovely. And there's a personal chest there. Don't quite know what the hell that's about, but, you know, whatever. I hear people talking. Hello? Where the hell do you go? Ah, uh, my lord, I must protest. Um. Our guest oh, there you are. from Ellenwyn's entourage. Apparently they were a bit too friendly with the cook. And yet, I wasn't informed of this. Hi, I like your sword. My fault, my lord. I had yet to give you the message. I was busy at the gate, as you know. Then you are excused, Sicarius. That dude is huge. My lord? You have failed to inform me of an essential message. Not entirely your fault, I admit. So I will be easy. I think an hour on the rack will be good. Off you, Sicarius. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. You people are weird. I do try. But it is hard to keep them loyal and clever. There's only so much of their brain you can remove before they're little more than corpses. Yeah, you make a fair point. Now, let me have a look at you. Mm, yes, strong, young, or young-looking at the very least. Hey! Apparently you were sent to me for sleeping with a cook. 
I'm sorry, I just really like food. Yes, my lord, but they came unto me first, my lord, apparently. Oh, don't grovel, please. I can understand passion. I like passion. Where's this going? Passion is life, and the livelier ones last longer under the knife. Tell me, are you at all particularly shock resistant? Well, I have been shocked a lot. Not that I know of, my lord. Hmm, well then, perhaps you would like to be. It is amazing how less conductive one is when they lack a spleen. You threaten me. <laughs> oh, relax, friend. I'm merely kidding. Please, enjoy yourself. It is important that my subjects are comfortable before we begin. Feel free to explore the estates for a few days. Get to know the place. It will make things easier, after all. One suggestion. Avoid the guards. They aren't hostile, so long as you avoid the restricted areas. That is, those areas marked with a red cross. Okay. I cannot say much for their friendliness, though. It's usually the first thing to go. Now, run along. If you need anything, I suggest not bothering me. And especially not Mascroft here. He's a bit of a wild dog. You know, I had a feeling he might be. Good day to you. Farewell, strange man. Okay, so I don't know what the hell's going on here, but this dude has a hole in his chest, and he's gigantic. I'm afraid I'm a bit absorbed in work right now. Don't worry, though. There will be plenty of time for talk later. Okay. And yeah, Mascroft does not speak, apparently. I'm guessing we probably have to find that dude at some point, because he looks kind of like a boss to me, and I really like the design of this so far. I mean, obviously this guy's supposed to be in charge of whatever the hell is going on here. They're doing weird, creepy experiments, and Mascroft seems to be one of them. Because, yeah, like, everyone around here is a little bit strange. Alright, so what the hell are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're finding some kind of plans. I... Hello? You appear to be missing your head, sir. And have a... A detached skull. Okay! That's very strange. <laughs> okay, is that... Oh, it looked like a hidden wall or something, but apparently not. So, I'm guessing those are the guards, maybe? Maybe they're not, I don't really know, but the way he's standing around there makes him look a little bit suspicious. This dude has a giant head. Are you a guard? I can't freaking tell. Oh, God, that's creepy. Just, uh, just gonna back away from him. We found the chef, who is also missing his head. What is with you people? I... Oh, Jesus. What happened to you? Looks like one of those funhouse mirrors that you, you go into and you look weird. Okay, this is creeping me the hell out. <laughs> we're just, oh, okay, we're not gonna go in there. It's like the pantry or something, don't wanna get trapped in there. There's another floating skull McGee, it might be the same guy, but I don't think it is. Ah, okay, so this is one of the Red Cross places, I assume, and we need a key for that. So my assumption is we either have to find it somewhere, or maybe we have to pickpocket from a guard. Because, yeah, I'm assuming these are the guards. Maybe they're not, though, I don't really know. So where the hell is this key? Hello? Key? Are you around here? I guess this might be where we're supposed to go? Okay, we can go to the courtyard from up here. Maybe that's what we should be doing? I don't know. Is there any guards around here? Well, there's a Red Cross thing, and we can actually pick that. The labs. Oh. Hey, buddy. You... okay, you're friendly. Good! Okay, so yeah, these must be the guards. Like, they're patrolling around in circles, and we can pick our way in here. So, let's make sure they don't see us, because good lord. I don't want to be fighting those dudes. They're creepy as all hell, so we're gonna save it, because... Screw that shit. I do not trust myself not to mess this up horribly. Speaking of... Oh my god. It's been a long time since I picked a lock on Skyrim. God. Son of a bitch. Okay, third time's the charm. Fourth time's the charm. Any, any, any... Yes! See? First time. You didn't see the other three attempts. Okay, so what's in here besides the brightest wall of all time? Holy shits. Now, this is a restricted area, so I'm guessing there's gonna be guards in here, and we are not allowed to be seen by them. There might not be, it might only be outside, I don't really know. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, yeah, there's one right there. That looks cool as hell. 
Doesn't really seem to do anything. Hey, and there's some goo on the floor. Who doesn't like a nice pile of blue goo? Okay, we got some research notes. How long are you? Too damn freaking long in my opinion. Screw that shit. Right, so what the hell else is around here? There's more goo and... I think these are also custom books. And so once again, I'm going to flick through the pages. You can read it yourself if you want. Just pause the video. And... Yeah, that's a pretty damn long book. Did we... I don't think we've seen this one before either. How long are you? Apparently... Really long. Holy shit! I, it just keeps going. <laughs> okay. Well, we're so far down the rabbit hole now, I just want to see where this ends. Um... Good God! It's still going! Okay, that's all of it. Holy shit! People really love to write, apparently. I'm kind of tempted to take that book just in case we need it, but... Uh, screw that shit. Wait a minute, what the hell was that? Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, Pretty sure that person walked right past me. Luckily, I have a hundred sneak. What's in here? That's a dead end. Probably don't want to be... You know, let's not shut ourselves in there. Let's just do the intelligent thing and save it, first of all, and go this way so we're actually going around the same direction. That way we should end up behind them. Have we been here? I... I can't remember if that's where we came in or not. I don't think it was. Maybe we need to go there, but let's check over here very quickly. Did we already look in here? No, we didn't. Good. The hell is that? That was like jars full of... ginormous hearts and stuff. Oh, and that's like, uh... I think I remember that from the Dragonborn DLC. Isn't that some kind of weird meteorite that you can mine? And I don't think I ever found a use for that, but I'm sure it's got some. And I... Wait, what? Oh, shit. Did I screw up? Well, well. This is unsurprising, to say the least. I didn't do it. Really, though. If you are going to break into someone's lab, why would you not check for alarms first? You did get so very far. It just seems a shame to have fallen at the last step. Son of a bitch. I'll never talk. Talk? Why would I be interested in such things? It is clear what your motivations are. Who cares who sent you? Finasta knows the Thalmor have their share of enemies. It's disappointing, really. Why do you insist on fighting us? We want to destroy the world, yes. But if we do, you all return to the immortal forms from whence you came. And if we don't, then there's no harm done. It hardly seems like something to vilify us over. After all, what benefits us benefits all, no? You do make a compelling argument. The experimentation seems a bit much. Ah, that, I must admit, is a personal passion of mine. I do so love picking apart life and seeing what makes it tick. Aetherial travel, soul gems, the wheels of love. I've studied and managed to discover quite a few things from them. <laughs> Still, you can't argue with the results. Look at Mascroft here. Sure, he might eat small children from time to time, but the benefits far outweigh the negatives. As you'll find out soon enough. Well, no one likes children anyway. I'll leave you to your thoughts, then. You won't have them very much longer, after all. Again, good day to you. Oh, God. We're gonna die. Failed to find some sort of plant. Say, hey, there's Mascroft. What's up, buddy? Oh, son of a bitch. I could have pickpocketed him. That'd be really cool if that was the way to get out, but I... Oh, hello. There's one of those tears in the thing that we have to hit with a ham. I don't even know what they are. They're weird. So I'm gonna save very quickly. I assume this is what's supposed to happen. I don't really know. Tulu, I'm here to save you. Hey, freak. How's it going? Levatas? Excellent. Get me out of here. Oh, can't do that. Can't do that. You have a job to do. Must find what the Justicar is doing. Knows too much. Never trust a former Sijic, after all. Also, this is but a one-way portal. 
can't pull you through, only send things out. You useless bastard. Then hand me a weapon and some armor. Why? So you can fight the jail bars? No, no, carefully, delicately. It's how we do, how we all do. Much the Justicar has done to this place. Lots of little tears in space-time. The wheels of low poke out here quite a bit. No, you must learn to see as I see. And can't do that without the good old visor, can you? Here, take it. Take it now. I think I'd still prefer a sword. Find the whispers in the world mechanism. You'll find that activating them has effects beyond that of normality. But still, you need to find the Justicar's plans. Pick his brain like he picks the ones on his guards. Speaking of which, I'd avoid them if I were you. Not one for dying they are. Nasty, brainless things. Well, shit. Oh, and if you want your things that he took, head to the front of the home. A closet holds a chest. Should be easy to spot. It always is, isn't it? Ooh. Toodles. Ciao. We, whoa, that was weird. We found a chest uh, called Personal Chest, so I'm assuming that's the one that's going to have our equipment. Right, now clearly we have to pull on the visor, and then wasn't there something we can do with it? To these things? Without the hammer? Hey, uh, It's been like a week since I did that, my brain's kind of derping right now. What the bloody hell was it? Okay, I kind of hate myself right now, I literally just remembered what it was. When we put on the visor, we got, uh, yeah, Lulling Ping. Okay, so what does that do for us? I... Oh! It got rid of the bars? I'm okay with that, but it doesn't really make any sense to me. And yes, as you can see, I was zapping and shit because I couldn't remember what the hell to do. Right, so... There's a bale of hay in prison, apparently. A bunch of buckets. A dead man. Why would you lock a man in there with like a thousand buckets? That just seems cruel. Well, at least I guess he's got somewhere to take a piss. Okay, so... Oh! There's another one there. There's two of them. Okay, oh, okay, oh sh- oh shit. Don't see me. Their vision is based on movement- oh god, no it's not! Okay, he's zapping the crap out of me. Well, that's not good. Okay, do we want to go in there? Do we want to shoot this thing over here? I can't go in the gate yet, there's another dude over there, that's not good. That's very, very bad. Okay! Okay, we found a load screen. That's good. Hopefully he can't follow me in here, but he probably can. I. Okay, I think we're on the other side of that gate. That might be it up there. Right, so we're gonna do the intelligent thing here and just wait around, because they don't know exactly where I am, but they are alerted. So we're gonna wait for them to not be alerted anymore. Then we gotta try sneaking properly, because... Yeah, for a start, we have a candlelight spell, which is just not a good idea. And second of all, I kind of ran straight into that guy. I just didn't realize they could hear you do the spell, but... I mean, I guess it makes sense, because it's more like a shout. Kind of. No, buddy, don't walk into the wall, you son of a bitch. That's right, go that way, you lanky bastard. Now, okay, we open up another pathway here, and he kind of hurt me, so we're just going to keep going. As long as he doesn't see me, that's what matters. Now, where the hell am I now? Oh, we're up here on the, uh, the rafters. Well, I guess we have to go along here, because otherwise, why would it be here? I... Do I go this way? I don't know. Kind of lost as hell right now. We don't have a map marker, so we just have to find our way back to the beginning. But I don't really remember this room is the problem. We may not have even come here. It seems possible to me. Oh, we can, uh... That's awesome! I don't think I hit anyone with that, but that's really cool that you can actually do that. Okay, let's go this way. Maybe. Uh... I'm so lost right now. Hey, what well, we found? Oh, shit! Don't Muscle. see me. Hold this file. Wait, what? The Justicar's around here? And Mascroft? Oh, he's right there. Ooh. Oh, shit. I'm guessing that's where we have to go. You know what, screw it. We're going to do this thing, and then we're just going to get go of it. Get all, go, go in the corner. Okay. Don't see me. Okay, we're fine. Holy shit. Right, so what the hell did that do? I'm guessing we have to get in there somehow. 
That might not be a good idea right now. Maybe we have to get our equipment first. I don't oh god. I don't really know. What the hell did that thing do? Hello? Oh. Did it open this? I guess so. It doesn't make much sense otherwise because I'm pretty damn sure we came this way. Ew. We have like a spy hole. And a key and a journal we can totally steal. Good. But, uh... Yeah, I'm guessing we maybe have to come back here and kill them after we get our equipment. Not that it looked like there was a way in now that I think about it. And it looks like they're not talking to each other. Oh. Huh. Well, alright then. I was hoping we could eavesdrop, but apparently not. And yes, you're damn right, I'm gonna save it. Okay, I would say this is going pretty well so far. We got the key. I don't really know what we need that for. Maybe that chest is gonna be locked now. It's kind of hard to say. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That's why we need the key. Now it makes more sense to me. Right, so I think I know where we are. Yeah, I think we're back right near the start where we saw that chef. Probably don't want to be walking into that room. Now I don't know if these guys are gonna aggro on me. I would assume so. But maybe not. It's kind of hard to say. Because they weren't aggressive before, but now we're an escapee. Yes, they are. Son of a bitch. We're just gonna shut that door. Oh, we found a chef. Okay. Just keep going. Just keep freaking going. Where the hell is my chest? Hello? If I can just get my equipment, we stand a chance. Well, we found the exit. It's probably not where we want to get. I, I don't know where the chest is. Son of a bitch. We're gonna go out here and hopefully they won't follow me. Then we can just... Oh, God, they followed me. That's bad. That's, oh, that, that's awful. That's really bad. Okay, well, plan B, we're gonna try and knock them over the, I can't see a damn thing. We're gonna try and knock them over the bridge. If you know I can ever actually get, you know what, screw it. Just, just do it. Just do it. Really, they're a mute son of a, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> and they're all naked and electrified. Well, oh, god damn it. Well, I did save it. Okay. Plan B, this time, we're actually gonna sneak past them, or at least we're gonna try to, and, you know, find our equipment. If nothing else, we at least got equipment, and then just run the hell away. Because it's not like we have to worry about anything else here. As long as we get out of this place, we're gonna be fine. But they did specifically say that the guards are basically unkillable, so... Yeah. That's probably really gonna suck. Now, we know where to go. And I think I remember the chest was past the bear, so we just need to take a left turn. I think. I was kind of panicking. What do you want from me? Now, here's the problem. A, we have candlelight, but B, how the balls are we going to get past these dudes? Because they are literally everywhere. Like that? Well, we're just going to shut that door and, uh, yeah. Now, again, I have 100 sneaks, so they usually have to be pretty much right up in my grill, but I feel like we're going to have to go right past some dudes, because there was a couple of them, that, like this guy. He's literally guarding where we need to go. Like, how do you get past him? I... And he's got nothing. I don't think that's gonna work. Well, at least the candle light, light wore off. Let's try going the other way around, but... Pretty sure there was a guard on the other side as well. And... Where the hell am I going now? Isn't this the way to the courtyard where the lamps were? Yes. Not where we want to be going. Hello? Guards? Are you around here? Okay. It looks like we're safe for now. But yeah, we need to go left, and exactly, that dude's... What? What the hell? There's like a guard on either side. We're gonna try going past him, but I really don't think this is gonna work. Stay there, buddy. Holy shit, it actually... Oh, no, it... Wait, what? It doesn't even look like he's alerted to me. Oh, this is bad. Actually, it might be quite... Oh, no, it's not good. Okay. I th Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's the chef. We're fine. Now I can see why this place is so damn dark until you actually stand a chance of sneaking if you don't have a hundred like me. And even with a hundred, still nearly got seen. Might have been because I bumped into him or something, I don't really know. I think... Yes, we found the exit about damn time. Okay, so I believe the chest was... It was over here, wasn't it? Past the bear. It's more than I can bear. At least I think it was. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, that was loud as balls. <laughs> I always forget about that, because I've got stuff from uh, Super Skyrim Bros. Whenever you pick it up, it's like, you get the sound effects every single time. So whenever my equipment gets taken from a different mod, that shit happens, and I, I never expect it. It's kind of freaking amazing. Right, well, anyway, I'm going to get re-equipped, and then I'm going to bust on out of here. I get the feeling we're probably going to have to kill that guard, so I'll keep you with me until then, and then we'll end the video, 
hopefully there, assuming there's nothing else immediately going to happen, kids. Yeah, I need a freaking break, and we're already nearly at 30 minutes here, at least I think so. Depends how much I have to cut out, really. Okay, I think that's everything. We're going to save it so I don't have to re-equip all that shit. Now, is the guy... Oh, good lord, he's right here. That's no good. I think that's kind of bad. Can we actually kill you? It looks like it. And you suck. Yeah, sit down, son. Damn. Okay, that guy was very easy compared to the other guys that are apparently completely invulnerable. Not that we've tried, but... Yeah, I kind of get the feeling they probably are. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciated. I'll like it. And I'll see you next time for more Skyrim.